I want to tell you my favorite story of Denise. So let's go back to Denise's first day in the U.S. Air Force. Commanding officer says, sit down. Denise looked across the room, saw a nice comfy couch there. She walked across the room and proceeded to sit down. I think before her butt touched the cushion, the person in charge in her face saying, when I say sit down, I mean sit down right here, right now. So Denise would probably own the record for the shortest time in the Air Force before getting chewed out. Now I tell the story because it started a journey. The journey wasn't always easy, but I also afforded a chance to see the world and most importantly, brought her to York. That's the most important thing. So today, May 7th, 2022, we toast Jorg and Denise. We wish you the best and God bless you. When I met with you the other day to talk about this wedding ceremony, I was impressed with the joy and the happiness that was radiating from both of you. Each of you marveled at the incredible journey and series of events that brought you together. Again, what the two of you were saying is that God had blessed you with a partner, a partner whose qualities and values bring you much happiness, a partner whose love is unconditional, a partner with whom you want to spend the rest of your life. As both of you recognize, you are God's gift to and for each other. I, Denise, take you, York, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, York, take you, Denise, for my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. It is now my privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Elfring. York, I would say he's tough, he's serious, and he's annoying. <laughs> but also cheerful, sweet, and thoughtful. York told me about an American hottie he met. <laughs> Soon I met Denise in real life. I got to know you as a strong woman with a warm personality. It was clear to me that this was true love. I don't know if it's the way you use silly voices with each other, or the way that you sent videos of self-created murder scenes with stuffed animals with ketchup. <laughs> what I do know, it's the way that you look at each other, respect each other, laugh together, and complete each other. I love you guys who will always be there to drink your beers. No Cheers to the lovely couple. When we were 10 years old, the Casper's family became my second family. I spent lots of time out at the Casper's farm and I learned um, my true love for polyester pants <laughs> from Rosemary. I also learned how to light uh, fires with Aquanet hairspray. Good times, good, good, clean, fun. <laughs> As us two awkward young girls grew, we took very different life paths. Along all Denise's worldly travels, she has found herself right where she needs to be, and that is with her love. 
The first time I met Jorg, I could see that this relationship was something very, very special. I saw Denise in a way that I had never, ever seen her before. The love and respect these two have for each other is obvious. When I see them, I see pure joy and happiness. And you two complement each other beautifully. Yeah, let's go into the Dear York and Denise, this is after all a speech for you. I wish you a wonderful life together, filled with lots of love, humor, respect, trust and understanding. Don't they say that the more you share love, the more it's multiplied. Travel far, have fun, work when necessary, make time for each other, stop by once in a time and grow as individuals and as a couple. Enjoy life, wishing you all the best, lots of love, your father and your father in law.